Hi, my name is Victoria and I'm with Pro Fashion today, here to show you all a cute style for Valentine's Day. We're going to be using today the Trifecta 3-part curling wand. I have that heating up right now, so if, um, if you have yours handy, you're going to be clicking on that power button and setting it to the um, correct setting. For me, I'm going to be using 430 today. So some other supplies that you'll be needing today is the thermal glove that comes with your wand. You're also going to be needing a clip, some hairspray, a brush, and some bobby pins. So as this is heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and brush my hair. And then I'm going to be dividing it up into different sections. I'm twisting this up here, and then I'm going to add my clip to keep it in place. Then from there, I will divide my hair into two sections. I'm going to be putting my thermal glove on and placing the curler in my right hand since it's my dominant hand. I'm gonna be starting on the left side curling my hair. So what's great about this tool it ha is that it has a cool tip so you aren't going to be burning yourself if it does happen to touch your back or your side when you're using it. It also has um, a two-part heating system so that you get a consistent curl throughout. All right, so I'm gonna grab a section right here I'm pointing the wand down. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my hair around there. Hold. So what's nice about this technology is that you don't have to hold the wand on your hair as long because it gets that curl faster due to the heating component. Next, I'm going to go ahead with the second section of my hair. Alright, next we'll start on the other side. Grabbing a section, we're going to go ahead and use the wand again. Just wrapping the hair and then holding. So that section is done. And we're going to go ahead and take our clip down and get another section out and brushing that new section, splitting the hair forward, again grabbing another section, and wrapping up your hair. And look at how close you can get because you have that thermal glove on. You're not going to burn yourself and you're able to get that beautiful wave. So my preference with this style is starting a little bit lower down on the hair, um, just so it's more looser and it looks like it's just an easy uh, flowing look. Alright, so this section is done. And we can place this on our heat resistant mat uh, when we're not using it, that way you're not burning any surfaces. I know I've definitely have done that before this tool. Brushing out the top section here. All right, so moving on to our last section of our hair. Um, as you can see, the, I have a part more off to the side just because of this specific style. So that's the way I'm gonna be curling it as well. Again, grabbing from the front, working my way back, and two different sections, breaking up the hair. So I'm holding that wand for about six to eight seconds. It's going to vary based on the thickness of your hair, but that's the time that works for me. So just double checking that section, making sure that I've gotten all that hair before I move over to the other side. All right, and now we're going to move over to this side of my head. So at this point, you can go ahead and remove your thermal glove. 
So what we're going to do today is put in a nice braid here on the side. So what I like to do is take a little hair hairspray in my hand and make sure that these flyaways are gone up top. And then taking a little bit more of your hair from the parted side and moving it over. Okay, so you should have majority of your hair on your one side. And we're gonna start the braid over here. So it's similar to a French braid. You're gonna divide your hair up into three sections, but you're only gonna pull hair from your bottom section. So you're braiding over. And then when you have your, your hair gets on this side closest to your ear, you're gonna grab a piece of hair. And if you aren't familiar with the French braid, it's just the normal braid, but instead of not grabbing any hair, you're just grabbing hair from the one side closest to your ear. So we're about a little past my ear. We're gonna go ahead and braid it down. And then you're gonna grab your handy dandy bobby pins. You're gonna go ahead and pin that braid to the back of your hair. Sometimes you, one bobby pin will hold, sometimes you're gonna need two. All right, and then you, if you have some of those baby hairs like I do, you're gonna go ahead and use some hairspray to sleek those back. And this is a cute look too. If you have like a new pair of earrings that you wanna show off for Valentine's Day, you can clearly see them. All right, so as you can see, this is your finished product. You have a nice braid on the side. What I like to do though, is I like to take my brush and brush out my curls. I like them to be a little bit looser. All right, so thank you for watching. To learn more about products as well as this style, please visit profashionhair.com.